Okay, Brad, so Cyber Knife worked dark and early this morning, uh, 112 and change for mm -hmm. six furlongs. Talk about the work, how it was structured and... It was really good. Happened. He broke off behind another horse, probably two off at the five eighths and uh, creeped up to him around the quarter pole and uh, finished up well, big gallop out. And uh, yeah, I think he was out, out seven eighths and 24 and change. So uh, big league move, it was, it was solid. He's always been a fairly good workhorse and he seems to be getting better the more we do with him. And that's exactly what you want to see this time of year. I mean, he was flying. Like, he must have really blown away his stable weight because around that far track. And he worked to the 7 eighths pole, too, right? Or no? Uh, yeah, he worked to the 7 eighths pole and then galloped out through the 3 quarter pole. But um, his workmate was only going 5 eighths from the 5 eighths, and then we kind of shut him down. But um, yeah, no, it, it was a good move. Uh, kind of, uh, they maybe broke off just a touch slow, but obviously finished up extremely well. So uh, I think he made up for, for the slow first quarter and, and what he, you know. We were already, where he finished up from the wire on out to the three-quarter pole. When you do those works in company with him, do you have to sort of time it to like where he's gonna catch the stable mate or? No, not really. Just kind of let him gradually creep up. I mean, you know, around the turn type. Yeah, I mean, I guess you'd say, you know, it's kind of more of the uh, what the rider's feeling and, you know, we, we'll say, you know, gradually let him creep up to him and, and go from there. So how he, um, how are you seeing things two weeks out with us knowing pretty much who the field is except for maybe someone like the 20 spot well yeah i mean it's it's a solid group um you know chances are the favorite's going to be four or five to one i'd say um four to one probably at the lowest so i mean look it's a very very good group of horses uh and uh, you know we're fortunate to have three in there and you know we'll see but uh you know our cult of work yesterday and obviously cyber night today they're they're as good as they're getting they're they're going to be right now they're they're doing very very well and obviously tommy porter just had his one move next week and uh you know talking about zozos do you think he's a horse that's coming in under the radar that um yeah i do i do because you know i think with the all these derby preps the, the ones that happen the most recent, um, you know, you had the big three that Saturday with the wood, the bluegrass, and the Santa Anita Derby. Those horses are kind of what people remember the most. And the week before, you had, you know, the big three with the Florida Derby, the Louisiana Derby, or I'm sorry, the Florida Derby and uh, the Arkansas Derby. And then obviously the week before that was the Louisiana Derby. So, you know, I always feel like the horses that did things most recent are getting the most press oftentimes. Uh, but, you know, look, all these horses that have won or been in the money and these preps you know deserve their opportunity in the, the, the derby and you know, see, see how it works out the arkansas derby has done very well in recent years mm -hmm. um in the kentucky derby those horses they usually traditionally come home pretty fast and you can debate whether the the stretch sort of slopes mm -hmm. or not different people think different things um they did not come home that fast in the arkansas derby you're also a handicapper uh, how do you analyze the, uh, the Arkansas Derby? It, it, but it was an odd run race, I would say. I mean, they went quick early and then, you know, obviously didn't finish up um, quite as fast as some of the other preps. Um, I thought our horse made two moves in the race, um, which, you know, he, he, once they turned up the backside, you know, he went up split horses and kind of ran it, ran on. But, you know, I, I thought I thought it was a, a, good, a good run, a good effort for a horse that, you know, I think is continuing to move forward mentally so we saw what we needed to see yeah, i mean look it'd have been great to run a triple digit buyer or a triple digit number but you know it is what it is and you know hopefully he's got one in him uh, kentucky derby day well and so many of the sort of parameters and prototypes mm -hmm. of derby horses have not really as these horses are more more lightly raised haven't yeah really no. stood the test of time like they did for decades yeah, no doubt. Well, obviously the point system changed out a little bit. You know, it you, you doesn't really matter what you do as a two-year-old now because there's just not enough points out there. Uh, but it's, it's one of those things where, um, you know, you have to be ready to roll, um, you know, February and March and April to get your points to get into the derby. Last question. Looking at his race record, where was the big improvement from which race to which race or series of improvements? Cyber Knight. Yes, Cyber Knight. Yeah, I think he took a step forward between his um, the comp and his allowance race. Um, his allowance race, I thought, was very, very good. Um, did it in hand and uh, quick time. Um, and then, obviously, you know, came back in the Arkansas Derby and was able to win another. You know, he has a pretty good race record. Um, just the, the one the one run into Lecomte where he was pretty wide throughout. Um, and it looked like he was moving well at the 3-8th pole that day and just didn't really fire down the lane. But overall, I mean, he's got a really good race record. He, he's kind of, he's always there. He's cost himself, obviously, one first time out was DQ'd. So, uh, you know, just kind of, kind of uh, 
you know, continue to move forward mentally uh, since he started racing, really. It's been like mental with him, and then once he gets sort of settled down mentally, that's making the physical talent. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I mean, he yep. he's really really doing well. I mean, uh, I think anybody that watches his work this morning or is going to be able to watch his work is going to definitely going to be on the radar because it, it was a solid solid move.